Greetings, and welcome back to Phasmophobia. This episode, we'll be doing a professional asylum. Another team recently went here and failed. This one sounds dangerous. Now, um... Sorry for the short episode yesterday, but I was kind of rushing to make sure I could get it uploaded in time. Like I said, I'd had a pretty rough week. But, uh... It uploaded maybe about ten minutes late, which was workable. Um... <clears throat> And in that time, I had to patch it before um, I had recorded the last episode. And in the time it took me to upload, there was another little hot fix out. Um, looks like it was just fixing closets where the ghost couldn't kill you. Oh, come here. Alright, right about there. Nope. Try there. I had the distance right, but the angle a little off, so it ended up... Can I shut off my own breaker? No. <laughs> Just curious. I was trying to dribble. Come here. Let's see. This was taking a little while to load. I might get a couple more in. Let's see if that's the right angle. Nope. Keep your sanity high by staying in the light. Also keeping my sanity high by shooting some hoops. This one's an asylum. I don't think I've done a large map in a while, so uh, hopefully this will be a little bit more involved than the last few I've run. Haven't run a mission with Ice in a while. He had some computer issues, but they should be up and running. Might be able to get a game in this weekend. Alright, that report right there means that it is completely random what the modifiers can be. Alright, photo, walk through salt, crucifix, Charles White. Photo, walk through salt, crucifix. Let's take a camera. Where's the breaker? Looks like it's downstairs. Way over there, Joy. Second thought. Let's take a candle. Since we're going to be walking in through the dark to get to the breaker, let's do it in style. Just to limit our um, sanity drain. You know what? Uh, we should probably have some lights switched on for the trip back so that we can use the parabolic. I heard that creak. Let's see. Those two. That should be this one and that one. Them all starting in the up position gets a little confusing to me. Um, since I have to still click it once to get them to come on, though, it's not going to be too bad. But I kind of wish they would be down so I knew which lights were already tripped. And 
Did I bring a camera or the parabolic? I'll check in a second. First, let's get this breaker on. Oh, Lord. Way over there. Alright. Oh, I did bring the parabolic. Great. So that will give me an idea of where the ghost might be. Can you give us a sign? Even though you're probably halfway across the map and can't hear me to respond to my voice. Now they said they fixed some of the, uh, well, I think Dust the Viking called them sound artifacts or artifacts that created sound that the parabolic would pick up. Maybe that elevator shaft doesn't do it anymore. That light switch was a 1.3. Normally they're 1.5 to 2. I've never seen a 1.3. 1 1.8. 1 have they been tweaking the parabolic? Alright, well since we've got the breaker on and these lights started, we'll go ahead... That light isn't on. Huh. I guess that one's damaged. We'll go ahead and check this hole. Yeah, the parabolic's very responsive now. I mean, I was getting 1.3 for about every click almost instantaneously for that. <clears throat> well, it's all quiet on this side so far. I mean, well, apart from me and my echoing footsteps. I just got a 1.9. I see a light. I think we have located our ghost room. Hello. Hi. like to play with candle? Alright. So what to bring in? <clears throat> Let's see. Um, book and video camera. Let's see. Before I do that though, is there any place around here I need to really brighten up with some infrared motion sensors? Maybe right along this hole? Yeah, I'll bring in some infrared motion sensors and line this hallway since I'm going to have to make multiple trips either this hallway or that hallway. That one might be shorter. And let's see if I blow the breaker turning on this light. I don't think I should. No. Good. Okay. So we'll grab some infrared motion sensors first to do some setup on that hallway. Lost about 10 points of sanity. And actually, I may put one here right here at the light switch because this area is dark. Alright, grab a couple more. Did I trip that one? No. Okay, let's move that. Let's put it... Can I put it here? No. 
Um, let's put it there. Actually, I may put one in this room. I don't know. That's a short distance to walk in the dark. I mean, that's very short. Now, let's see if this infrared motion sensor trips when I go past it. Barely. There we go. Got a little bit of light going on here. Yep, that one does trip as I walk past that door. All right, now we're probably down another four or five points of sanity from that little trip back and forth. Mm, hard to tell since I don't know exactly where I was in the range before, but we're gonna grab we're gonna grab a tripod with a camera on it and the book. And you're not active at all right now. And we'll head down this hall, set up a camera in that room, put the book in the room come back out and check the camera for ghost orbs before heading back into the room to see if we need other evidence gathering. Now this is all assuming the ghost is actually in that room and it wasn't like a hallway ghost that just opened the door. Oh, this stretch is dark too. Not as bad. No. I mean, yeah, you got a little bit of shadow here. Another dark stretch right here. I wonder if I would have been better off spreading out the uh, infrared motion sensors into these patches instead of just adding them all there. You threw something, you blew out the candle, you opened the door and you threw something. Well, I'll take my candle back. Thank you very much. Oh, um, let's put that as a marker in the hallway. <clears throat> oh, I guess I should turn out your light. All right, bedtime. And now that candles can actually go out while you're holding them, uh, it kind of sucks that the lighter takes an inventory slot. Because that means for candles to really be effective, you have to carry the candle and the lighter to keep relighting it. All right. I didn't see my breath while I was working in the room. And I'm pretty sure if we had a freezing temperature ghost, it would be freezing by now. So I think we are safe from demons and mares. Um, I believe Banshee is also freezing temperatures. Yeah, freezing temperature ghosts contain most of the nasty ones. my candle back. I've got a great view of the side of the bed. Hmm. Now there is a possibility for the ghost orb to be over that way or over that way. So I think relocating this camera to like this back corner would be a good idea next time I'm in there. Um, salt and photo. 
Yeah, not seeing any ghost orbs right now, but then again, the bed could be blocking my view if it hangs around close to the floor most of the time. Book doesn't look like it's been written in. All right. Uh, next piece of evidence. Let's grab the UV light and a photo camera. Oh, no, no. Salt is an option. UV light and salt. And this, although the lack of freezing temperatures pretty much rules out Wraith in my opinion, this could also help rule out Wraith um, if I see footprints when I put down the salt. I don't know. I think that is abysmally dark compared to these little dim patches. Although some of the, that last one there is awfully dark. I think that was the elevator shaft, but it sounded awfully loud. Because I'm used to that creaking noise being near the elevator shaft. Let's see, the only... really dangerous ghost that isn't freezing temperatures is the gin. That's the only one I can't kite that I have to run from. I mean hide from. Fingerprints would rule it out. As does book writing I believe. No, no, wait. wait. We got fingerprints and book writing. First, let me relocate this. This may be a waste of time. Oh, oh, oh. No footprints. Uh, oh, well, poo. I didn't have a photo camera. Let's do it like this. So we have two pieces of evidence now. We have ghost writing and fingerprints. Let's see, possibilities, I believe. Freezing temperatures would make it a revenant? Or is revenant spirit box? See, spirit box, ghost writing, fingerprints, I don't believe is a combination. Ghost orb. Actually, spirit box may be a combination and ghost orb may not. Hmm. I'm so much more familiar with freezing temperature ghost, oddly enough. Jin is EMF5 Ghost Riding Ghost Orb, I believe. What else do we have that is not freezing temperatures? Oni. Well, let's just do it this way. We had Ghost Riding. And we had fingerprints. That gives us spirit, revenant. Okay, revenant is EMF5. Spirit is spirit box. I don't even need to check for ghost orbs. If I have that right, spirit is spirit box? Yes. So we need an EMF reader and the spirit box for our next trip. Oh, Go ahead and top off our sanity. See if I can grab the EMF reader. I always do this. I want the EMF reader. Thank you. All right. Uh, don't even need to check for um, 
ghost orbs. I'm going in once again without a camera, which means another photo opportunity could be lost. But this will get my last two pieces of evidence collection in place, so from here on out I could bring in like a photo camera and a candle. Spirit box will allow me to, um, spirit box or EMF, yeah, I can't rule out spirit box just because I don't get a, a response right off the bat. That's the one problem. I would have to actually get a spirit box response uh, for that piece of evidence to matter. But if I do get a spirit box response, I no longer need the lights out. Can you give us a sign? Where are you? How old are you? Charles. How old are you? Where are you? Is my actual flashlight off? That was weird. Can you give us a sign? a video camera, I mean a photo camera and a candle to play around a little more because that didn't rule out anything. Um, those pages were reflective. Weird. Yeah, the page textures have the same reflection value as the uh, tile. <clears throat> alright so we've got all of our evidence gathering in place now it's just a matter of getting the last piece of evidence which is either going to be a spirit box confirmation or an EMF 5 reading yeah the light did come on it is so dim I'm looking forward to when they add in spotlights, and I'm hoping they're at least as bright as these lights. And not just like uh, this strong flashlight bright. Alright, um, photo camera, candle. We shall begin the long and arduous trek back to that room uh, and try and provoke a response so we can get either an EMF reading or a spirit box response and possibly a manifestation to get an, a, a photo since I did not have my video camera the first time he appeared and it looked like he was wearing pajamas. It looked like I was staring directly at somebody's chest who was in red and white striped pajamas. And it's such a long walk to these, this end of the asylum. I miss all the times I had gotten lucky and gotten uh, ghosts real close to the entrance in asylum. <clears throat> I'm back. Where are you? How old are you?
Charles, where are you? Where are you? How old are you? It's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. That's a four. Where are you? How old are you? Alright, stop screaming in my ear. Where is the EMF reader? I can hear it. And I missed whatever that other one was because I couldn't get to it in time. Alright. It didn't sound like a five. But it could have been. Now my guess right now is this is a Revenant that was an EMF-5. Friggin' candle. Did not last long. Now if it is a Revenant, it's one of the ghosts I have to hide from. I'm not going to be able to kite him throughout the asylum. One good thing I can do is the asylum has a lot of twists and turns, so if it starts hunting way back there, I can lose line of sight quite easily and possibly get into a room to hide that he won't search. Okay, so I am suspecting this is an EMF 5 ghost. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my journal just in case in my quest to confirm it I get killed. You're a Revenant. Is that right? Revenant is the EMF 5 one? Yes. Alright. more active with me in the room, though it has had some very interesting little spikes. Um, can I find some place to put the camera so we can see the EMF reader? What have I got? I've got a photo camera and nothing. I could take another candle in, which might be a good idea since the breaker's out. I'm in the 70s. I've got four of these. I'm just going to top off. Stop that. Stop that. What is a photo camera doing up there? Oh, because I grabbed one and grabbed another one from down there. Alright, so let's just go back in there and see if we can't provoke him into doing something other than just screaming in my ear. I had a camera and he wouldn't manifest. Joy of joys. Interesting. The lights I had on are now in the down position, which means the breaker was actually tripped. So all the lights that were activated are now reset. I'm not going to bother going to turn on the breaker again because I only need one piece of evidence and I have two more sanity pills so I think I'm better my, a better use of my time there we go now we have two lit candles is um, just going over here to provoke a response Where are you?
How old are you? Give us a sign. Flip the switch and I don't get an EMF reading? Seriously? Show yourself. Charles. Where are you? Give us a sign. How old are you? Oh, you knocked over my candle. Give us a sign. Where are you? Show yourself. Charles White. Where are you? How old are you? are you? Show me. Show yourself. Nah. Suddenly don't want to be active, do you? This candle's out again. place it on the wall now. It won't displace and slide down. I suppose I could bring in the crucifixes. Because if I'm going to take time trying to get this last bit of evidence. Now I could leave now and go with the uh, guess that this is a revenant. Uh, excuse me, i got to sneeze. That one had a bit of a slow build-up. I could feel it coming. Just in case the breaker comes back on, we'll have all the lights back. Because the ghost does have a slim chance to turn on the breaker itself. Now the odds of me getting an EMF reading here are slim to none. I mean, it's active right now, but I'm not sure where. And as you see, that thing's not doing anything. Wait, it doesn't even have one light on. Is it shut off? Crud. It's off. Well, that was genius. I'm still at 94. Alright, let's um, 
save the photo camera, bring in a, both crucifixes. No, I want to need a, a candle. No, I don't. I don't need a candle. So this is six lights. Its room would make seven. Yet somehow the breaker got blown, which meant that it turned on an eighth light somewhere. Candles out in the hallway again. warm cheery glow all right first one's going here second one's going here and I heard you mess with something thank you Well, problem solved. We finally got our EMF-5 confirmation. Now, we probably did get an EMF-5 on that second signature uh, we got when I was looking for the EMF reader and it stopped before I found it, because the EMF reader was face down. And there's a damn good chance it was actually an EMF-5 and I missed it. And since the lights are out, it really doesn't matter which direction I go to get back. But we got our confirmation. It was, in fact, a revenant. Um, hi, Charles. <clears throat> we did not get a photo of the ghost, but I'm not worried about that. Um, it's okay money, but uh, it only seemed to manifest the once, and it was right in my face, so I would not have um, successfully gotten a photo anyway by the time I had switched over he would have vanished anyway well this thing looks all spiky now that's kinda neat instead of it just going up to two and staying there it kind of spikes that's cool that's a definite nice change that they've done where it fluctuates by like a one strength <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's see how much we got for that. It's going to be over 200. Might be around 235 would be my guess. Oh, 205. Yeah, we only got one additional optional objective. And only one photo. So you got 205. We'd have gotten about 30 more points if we'd gotten more photos. Yeah, two, uh, getting 20 in photos would have been an extra uh, 30 or getting uh, one of these other objectives would have gotten me 235. But still, not a bad payout. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.